lots of black people in America think that I should think just like them. And I think that that type of ideology is insane. I'm not finna share your thoughts. I'm a free, living, breathing person. The greatest American alive. I don't think like you. I don't eat like you. I don't shit like you. So fooey on you to think that somehow I'm supposed to regurgitate your ideas. That's nasty. That's destructive. And I think that the black American person should have a better conversation. The white American person, this conversation is important to you also. You know why? Because you live here with me. It's like a family feud. It's the nastiest family feud that I've ever been in. The American side of my family, you know, the white Caucasian side, they like to call me black. The black side of my family, they like to call me coon. And the white side of my family, if I'm not around, they might call me nigger with a hard E-R. I understand the plight of America. I understand the fight of America. And it's my house. I live here. And since I live here, sometimes the family is going to feud, but I'm willing to fight back. I'm going to kick your ass and love you tomorrow. Can we please have honest conversations about masculinity in America? I'm going to kick your ass and love you tomorrow. That ain't toxic, man. You shouldn't have drank my orange juice, punk motherfucker. <laughs> Can we please have honest conversations on what it means to be an American? Yes, I can tell jokes. It's okay to tell jokes. You ain't got to take everything serious. Sometimes it can be literal. Sometimes it's not. It's a very fine line. It all depends on how I feel. You might say something and I might laugh. If you say it twice, I might not laugh again. If you say it three times, I might be on your ass. Pause. <laughs> We need to engage in actual dialogue that's going to improve the quality of life for all Americans. And I'm talking directly, squarely to men who look just like me. I'm talking squarely to other men who don't look like me from other ethnicities who share this ideology. You know what it means to be a man in America. You know what it means to have a family and have children looking at you like, Daddy, I need to eat. Daddy, I need some shoes. Daddy, 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 daddy. If you have small children or if you have had small children, you understand understand when they start calling your name and you can't provide the thing in which they need that's a problem and that's a conversation that every man should be having it ain't just nigga go get it sometimes we need a helping hand to pull ourselves out of these trying situations but you have to be vulnerable <laughs> niggas need to be vulnerable yeah i mean it's like it's like you stumble across building blocks and shit when i say man niggas need to be vulnerable it sounds like oh my goodness like you should already know that right hell no it's extremely hard to have these conversations when you've never had these conversations before this is new territory man a brave a brave new future this is a brand new frontier and so since it's a brand new conversation i'm talking about love in america I need the American woman to understand my plight. Man, my man is fighting as hard as he can to be the best man that he possibly can, and I should just love on his ass. I shouldn't have expectations to the motherfucking moon. He's a good man. He does the best that he can, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I got this strong. He might not be that strong. I got this loving. You better be loving if you ain't that strong. There's trade-offs. You have to be able to negotiate to get exactly what you want. I'm excited. I, got, I ain't got no choice but to be excited. I got three beautiful babies, and I got a beautiful girl that drives me crazy fall in love in america because stop showing me things i don't want to see and let's keep having dope ass conversations because like man i'm just project daddy and you you're the greatest american alive the greatest american alive baby the greatest american alive 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 the greatest american alive